Excel 2016 added six new chart types, several of which will be very useful to accounting and financial professionals seeking to build Excel-based dashboards. In particular, waterfall charts, an example of which is currently shown on the screen, can be very beneficial when attempting to show how a total was distributed amongst various components, such as how total revenue was reduced first by cost of goods sold and then by operating expenses when arriving at net income. In this tip, you will learn how to create waterfall charts using the new tools found in Excel 2016. The first step in building your waterfall chart is to ensure that your data is arranged properly. In this example, we want to show how a company's total revenue of approximately $23 million was reduced by $10 million of cost of goods sold and then by $6 million of SG&A expenses to arrive at net income of approximately $7 million. Therefore, we need to arrange the source data for the waterfall chart in Excel as shown on the screen. Notice the fact that cost of goods sold and SG&A expenses are both listed as negative numbers. This is critical in ensuring that your waterfall chart is constructed properly. The arrangement of the data in the order currently shown will give us a waterfall chart that will step down from $23 million of total revenue to $7 million of net income. Now once you have your data arranged as currently shown on the screen, select the entire range of data and then click Insert, followed by Charts, followed by All Charts, and select Waterfall. Upon clicking OK, we find the basic outline of the waterfall chart on the screen. Now the basic chart currently shown does not tell the story that we want it to tell. Specifically, it does not step down from $23 million in total revenue to $7 million in net income, so we have just a bit of cleanup work to do. Let's begin first by selecting the gross margin data point. And on the gross margin data point, let's choose the option that says set as total. Let's follow that up by then selecting the net income data point and also choosing to set that as a total. Establishing gross margin and net income as totals instructs Excel to anchor these data points on the horizontal axis so that their values do not appear to float in the chart. Upon indicating that these two data points are in fact totals, your chart should now resemble that currently shown on the screen. Now let's add just a little bit of touch up to the chart. We'll begin by deleting the legend. Let's also clean up the chart title and make it a little bit more descriptive. And let's address the coloring on the chart. And now we find that our chart is completed. Excel 2016 makes six new chart types available to all users, and waterfall charts are included in this list of six. Properly constructed, waterfall charts can be very effective at telling the story of how we get from point A to point B. So be sure to take advantage of this feature in Excel 2016 to create charts that are more effective at communicating your intended messages. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.